joined today with Jess Gleason from DLR Waves. Jess, thanks Mel for chatting with me today. First and foremost, how are things going? How are you settling in with the new club? Yeah, first, thanks for having me. Um, and Jen, yeah, no, oh, look, I'm loving it. Um, it's been a great, a great uh, choice to move over to DLR and everything since we started has just been like, it's been unreal. I've enjoyed every second of it. Um, and the season so far is going really well. So have no complaints so far anyway. It's been really positive and really enjoying it. And what is it about the team that has kind of made you fall back in love with football, as you said in a recent interview? Um, you might have been thinking of quitting there for a while, but what has changed? What is it about the team? Um, I think it's just really like the management side of things, the staff and the players, it's just all positive and it's just a really good morale um, around the group. And it just... I suppose I've got my confidence back. Um, there's just belief; they, they have belief in me. Um, everyone like around is just they're all so encouraging and all, and um, it just it's given me that kind of belief in myself again that like I can enjoy it and um, I could just be myself. I suppose. Yeah. Um. It definitely seems like team spirits are really high, and it's just really noticeable among the team as well. Um, what are the kind of goals for you guys this season? Um, I suppose we set a goal for ourselves at the start of the season to kind of to push on and kind of break into the kind of top four, top three. Um, we've kind of been at a steady kind of finishing kind of fifth, sixth the past couple of seasons. So we want to kind of improve and make that step up and show that we are there to, get, to be contenders like and that we can push the so-called top four as such. Um, and just show that, that we're well able and that um, it's not it's not all about the kind of top teams as such that we can be be there thereabouts and to be fair we're we're proving ourselves so far so so um, far so good yeah what about uh personally I know you know you got a really good assist in one game you got a goal from a free kick are you hoping to maybe get yourself up there get a few goals or are you focusing on defense and keeping clean sheets I suppose yeah, as as a defender, first and foremost, I suppose it's the uh, keep clean sheets and um obviously clean sheets when like get your results. Um but yeah, if we could notch a few more goals as well, I wouldn't be <laughs> I wouldn't complain. <laughs> was the free kick something that you guys had rehearsed or was it just kind of you were feeling it in the moment and you decided to take it? Um I kind of been kind of I suppose at the end of a couple of sessions I said look I'm just going to practice hitting one or two just to, to see what what it feels like I suppose to get me range and when I seen the position of the, the free kick on a day against Cork and the fact that it was an indirect free kick I kind of was like to myself right if I can just get someone to just give this a little nudge and when it's moving just hit it mm. and hope for the best um, and thankfully it worked out really well yeah, you drilled <laughs> it into the bottom corner <laughs> Worked out very well, I'd say. Yeah, pretty sweet, all right, yeah. Yeah, and um, also, again, in terms of personal goals, you got invited to the Ireland home-based training camp. Um, is that something you'd be looking to kind of get yourself into as well? Yeah, I suppose, like, at the start, I kind of set myself out to, to enjoy, to get back into enjoying football again. And as the season, as the kind of pre-season went on and as we got into the season, I could feel myself playing well. and. I suppose I kind of reset my goals and to try and to get in the eye, I suppose. And when I got the call to say that I was going to be involved in the home based um the home base session, I was absolutely delighted. I was shocked. Um, <laughs> but I was delighted and I really enjoyed it. So look, I'm gonna keep working hard anyway with DLR and hopefully I'll get another call at some point. Yeah, definitely. And just looking back, you've played with Wexford and Shelburne. What have you kind of learned from your experiences with those clubs that you feel like you can bring to DLR as one of the more experienced players? Yeah, it's like, I suppose with Wexford, like we won, well, I won like pretty much every trophy there is to win in the women's game. So I have that experience going in, played in the Champions League. Um, so I played at pretty much the top level in club. Um, in that sense and then obviously you know at the Shells they're just such a good club they're also technically like really good 
Um, so I kind of learned a lot from both um, experience and brought on my technical game as well, I suppose. So I'm just, I'd like to say that I'm bringing a bit of experience and then I suppose the little bit of technicality that I brought to my game as well, I'm bringing that into the game in DLR as well. Probably a bit of winning mentality as well that might have been missing from DLR the last few seasons. Like, you know what it's like to win and you can kind of bring that to the team. But you're not the only newbie in the team this year. Uh, Neve Barnes is another player who is new. Um, how has it been building your guys' partnership? Yeah, it's been great. Look, Neve is she's an unbelievable player. Um, and I suppose like we we really clicked um really quickly, which is really good. Um, and it's a partnership that's just going to keep growing the more that we play together. Um, and it's really starting to show now we've got two clean sheets now in the past two games. So we'll be hoping to just keep building on that and just keep driving. Yeah. And would you say that she's your favourite person to play alongside? Or if you have to pick someone on the team, who who would you say has been the most enjoyable to get to play with over the last few games? Um, like, I, to be honest with you, I'm enjoying playing with everyone around me. Um, there's not, like, no one really sticks out as such as, like, a player that I want to play with or I've wanted to play with. Like, I enjoy playing with every single player. And um, they all bring something different and they all offer something different in their, their own way. And um, like it's we're all starting to click and even the players that like that haven't played much that are coming on and stuff like that. It's just it's just every player is it's clicking um, and it's starting to come right now. So there's no one that like I'm going to pick out individually or anything. <laughs> but uh, no, everyone I like playing with everyone to be fair. You know, that's what you want um, and then last question so you're kind of hoping to break into that top three or hold the top four spot what do you think is special about your squad that can get you kind of above and beyond where you've finished in previous seasons um, I think the togetherness um, that's there um, between everyone from players to management to the backroom staff there's just a, a really good a really good bond with everyone and um, everyone gets on there's no like there's no one that's really like there and cutting back off people or anything like that everyone wants to do well and yeah. um, even like the players that say wouldn't be in a squad or that like don't get a game at the weekend they're so encouraging regardless mm-hmm. um, and just to have that that everyone has the same goal um, and everyone believes that we can we can push into the top three top four and um, that's massive and I think that'll help us and that will get us across the line hopefully to get in and keep our position in top four if not push into the top three yeah absolutely um well good luck with the rest of the season you've started really really well and I think you know judging by the team spirit as you said it's it's due to continue going that way so yeah good luck hope goes well for you and thanks Mill for chatting with me no matter thanks very much